So welcome everyone. Um, my name is Melissa Rogers and for those who don't know, I am the Student Activity Coordinator for the Multicultural Affairs Department. This June 19th marks the first time that the holiday Juneteenth will be recognized by the state of Massachusetts. To celebrate our Multicultural Affairs Department at Bristol wanted to provide faculty, staff, and students with not only resources and history of the Juneteenth holiday, but ways to celebrate Juneteenth with ways that support local Black and African American communities. We are excited to have with us Justina Perry, founder of Buy Black New Bedford, an online platform dedicated to highlighting, discovering, and promoting Black-owned businesses in the South Coast, Massachusetts. This Juneteenth, Buy Black New Bedford will host its first event, Black in Business Pop-Up Outdoor Market from 11 to 3 p.m. Justina, thank you so much for taking the time to talk to us. Um, could you please tell us about the event, its purpose, and how we can attend and support this cause? Absolutely. Thank you so much for having me, uh, Melissa, and the Multicultural Affairs Department of Bristol Community College. I think that it's wonderful that you're sharing about what's going on in the community. So um, my name is Justina Perry, as she said, and I am founder and director of Buy Black. NB, which is an online platform for discovering and highlighting local black owned businesses and our directory has grown to include over 150 businesses service providers and some that make and sell goods so that is who we'll be highlighting um, for the juneteenth event and we've created a space a safe space to celebrate to sell to build community, to network. It's going to be at the Roach Jones Deaf House, centrally located in New Bedford. From 11 to 3, we'll have children's activities, which is really cool. Um, I, I think it's a real family event. We'll have characters for kids um, all the way from Wakanda. And we'll have, you know, little activities for them to do, like make your Father's Day card. We'll have a little station like that. We'll definitely have music. We've hired um, our Black owned business um, service providers to be DJ, photographer, videographer. We have the children's entertainment, all um, with representation from our local Black owned businesses. So, um, so it'll be a, a really exciting day. Uh, our first community in-person event. Now we do have um, virtual events. We have our engaging social media, but this is going to be this is going to be really um, marking. I think marking the summer too. It's the first week of school after the kids get out. So really, really fun way for families to gather. We will have. Um, so far we have 17 confirmed vendors. So we're gonna take a few more so that we have a real diverse offering and that you can come and find your next product and, and meet that business owner that you've, sh you've shopped with before but haven't had a chance to connect with over the last year maybe. Um, but we have food, we have art, we have apparel, lots of lots of different things and other stuff going on in New Bedford so we'll be connecting all of those businesses all of those organizations and their events together with a shuttle um, provided by New, New Bedford tourism so there there will be a shuttle connecting all of these events um, into downtown um, so stay tuned for shuttle shuttle um, updates that'll that'll be a free service so that if you're if you're coming to New Bedford you know like you could spend the whole day if you are you know if, if you're done with your market shopping and you want to head over to see what's going on in New Bedford Historical Society or the event at the NAACP or Third Eye Open. Now we know they're all doing um, a something different, a way to celebrate um, the holiday uh, on that day. So again, it's 11 to 3. Um, the location is 396 County Street. That's in New Bedford. And um, we will also be having giveaways. So each of the vendors will be raffling off a different item. So lots, lots of raffle items. 
we will have um, food. This is all free admission. And um, yeah, so it's going to be it's going to be a really great time. And I think it marks by Black and Bees, um, you know, as our first community event. So if you've been able to access the directory and and find um, a, a new Black owned business to service and um, now you're, you're ready to come out and meet in person. We're going to be, um, you know, socially distancing face coverings, as long as that's still required on that day will be super safe. Um, yeah, so that's, that's what we have for Juneteenth. I'm really excited and lots of other things going on in the community. So I hope that people will be able to come on down and, and like Melissa said, more than just a day off, it really is, um, Black Independence Day. It's a day of joy and celebration. And um, we're, we're really excited to bring this event um, made possible by the Wicked Cool Places grant um, and be creative. Awesome. Thank also, you so much. yes. And if anybody wants to get connected and they want to, um, they want to give back, um, they want to volunteer, they want to sponsor the event. We are accepting sponsors. Please get in touch with us. Our email is info at buyblacknb.com for anybody who would like to be involved with this um, first annual, I think I can say that first annual Juneteenth event. Um, for Buy Black and B. And if you have questions about the day, um, also, if you want to find out more about the directory or on our social media, we are buyblacknb.com. Awesome. Thank you so much. And we'll share those links um, with you all too, so we can get you connected with Justina. Thank you so much for joining us today. We'll see you on the 19th. <laughs> see you then.